Java Edition has this feature called Smooth Camera Movement. It's pretty self-explanatory what it does. It makes your camera move smoothly. This is extremely useful for taking cinematic footage, especially in things like Replay Mod. However, this is completely absent from the Bedrock Edition of the game, with the only way of doing it widely regarded to be using a controller. Right? But what if I told you that you don't need a controller, and you don't even need to mod the game to be able to do it? Hey everyone, TV Teacher here, and this is how to get cinematic camera movement in Minecraft. Alrighty, so now I'll be showing you how to get cinematic camera movement in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Firstly, what you want to do is pause your game, and then click on settings. Next, you want to scroll down until you find keyboard and mouse, and click on that, and enable full keyboard gameplay. Before you click off the video, yes, you'll be able to use your mouse with no drawbacks at all. This doesn't come with any downsides at all, I promise. Next, you want to scroll all the way down until you find something that says attack slash destroy. Then you want to click on that and click it with your left click, which will set it to left click. Then you want to click on pick block and middle click. Then you want to click on use item place block and set it to right click. Anyways, for drop item, you want to click on it and click press Q. And then for hotbar slots, you can set them to whatever hotkeys you use. I'll set them to mine. Here's a quick little time lapse. There we go. Next up, you want to click on inventory and set it to E. And then for toggle perspective, if you don't use a different key, you can leave it as is. If you use, a, uh, if you use your own key for it, then you can set it to that key. I use R personally, so I'll set it to that. And then finally, you want to click on mob effects and click Z. And there you have it. You've actually done it. You have cinematic camera movement in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. You can use your arrow keys to control it. And there you go. You actually have smooth camera movement. Before you go off the video, one last tip, if you want to be able to change the speed of the smooth camera movement, you can go to this slider that says smooth rotation speed and change it as how you like. If you feel like it's too slow, then you can crank it up to 100, which is chaos. And if you feel like it's too fast, then you can always just lower it to a lower value, which I, and I personally use 5 because it looks the nicest for replays. Anyways, that was it for the tutorial. Before I go, massive shout out to at Mr. Squinode on Twitter for buying me the replay pass. Also, a shout out to at Near on Twitter for making the thumbnail for this video. I genuinely appreciate their help, and this video would not have been possible without them. If you found this tutorial helpful, then I'd really appreciate it if you considered leaving a like and subscribing. It really would mean the whole world to me. Anyways, peace!